We turn to the new jobs report now from the Labor Department today. It says 236,000 jobs were added last month and the unemployment rate dropped to 3.5 percent. This is what economists expected, showing job growth is still strong, but slowing compared to recent months. ABC's Rena Roy has the story. The monthly jobs report is out from the Department of Labor, showing 236,000 jobs added in March. The job market remains solid, though it is showing signs of gradual cooling. This slowdown is exactly what economists expected following a red-hot streak in recent months. But overall, the market is still strong, with jobs added in leisure and hospitality, government and health care. President Biden touting the news, saying his agenda has powered an historic economic recovery. In an encouraging sign, the report says more people were actively looking for work last month. The unemployment rate now at 3.5 percent, wages up 0.3 percent from the month before. Higher wages can stoke higher inflation, but experts say the gains in this report are not alarming. Meanwhile, some good news for home buyers: Mortgage rates are lower for the fourth straight week. The average rate on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage now at 6.28 percent, but that is still two full percentage points higher than it was just a year ago. Experts say this report will likely keep the Federal Reserve on its current path of raising interest rates to bring down inflation. Rent prices are up more than 8% in the past year and groceries are up 10%. Overall, American households are paying about $400 extra nearly every month for the same goods and services compared to last year. Now those numbers show inflation is clearly still historically high, but it is trending lower. Next week, a new inflation report will reveal if we can expect that trend to continue.